Hey there guys, I'm Sonic Ghost and welcome back to some more Let's Play Sonic Adventure. Last time we started up Amy's story and got here on the Egg Carrier, so hopefully now we'll be able to escape this place. Sounds like Eggman really likes his game, and this ball is really excited for some reason, so let's grab it. So, in order to get out of here, we need to play this game and get the highest score. Just jump to activate it. If you hit an Eggman, you lose points. That's why I did it now, because I had zero. You want to hit the Sonics. If you hit a, a blue one, that's worth 100 points, but if you hit a golden one, indicating Super Sonic, you get, I think, like 500? Yeah, it's 500. So whenever you see one of those golden ones, you want to hit it, but the Eggman heads stay up the longest. This game's actually pretty difficult, and I'm not really having the best of luck here. And as soon as I say that, I hit a golden one randomly. Wow, that was like perfect, and that golden one stayed up for way too long. What? I can't believe this is happening! So with that, not only do we get to get out of here, but also... We win an upgrade, the Warrior Feather. Behold the Warrior Feather. Now you can do the spin hammer attack. Press and hold the action button and move the directional pad in a circle. Notice how she said directional pad. And the subtitle said control stick. Well, you can't really do this with the D-pad. I'm doing that right now, it doesn't work. You have to use the control stick. I think that was something out of translation error there or something, because the translation, what I mean by from Dreamcast to GameCube, I don't know how they screwed that up, but for some odd reason, they said directional pad. Because maybe in the Dreamcast version, you can do it with the D-pad. I'm not sure, I haven't played it. But uh, if you rotate the joystick while holding down the B button to attack, you can do this little spin attack like motion but if you do it for too long Amy will get dizzy and you can't attack and you move around this weird pattern and I didn't mean to activate the game again so let's just get out of here so that's really all the spin attack does it's not really something I like to use because well I usually just run and do this kind of attack with my hammer instead but as you see we can't really get out of here with the elevator and the trolleys are offline, so in order to get out, we need to head over here. We're going to hit the switch with our hammer, and to the second level we go. Hot Shelter. Now, with Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, we couldn't play this level. But with Amy, Big, and E102 Gamma, Hot Shelter is in the level list. So this is the last level we haven't seen yet. Brand new territory for us. And I think it's probably the one of the best levels with Amy, just because of how... Well, expansive it is. So, want to go ahead, grab a shield right away because, well, besides being slapped away by that guy, I don't know how that didn't damage me. I think if he charges in you, that hurts you, but anything else won't. I think that's how it works, but, uh, want to go ahead, grab this, uh, shield again, and then the speed shoes because, well, with Amy, you kind of need them fall down there in the water you kind of have to climb your way back up so careful platforming helps and just crank this up a little bit there we go those things are kind of awkward at first they really are and right here we need to hit the switch because well there's a switch in this little hole and once we do that the water fills up now if you fall in this room for some odd reason don't worry you can still get back up with those stairwell stairwell staircase like a huge thing of stairs down there. Now this one you have to do in a certain pattern. As you can see, I can't grab it for some odd reason. It's not activating. So we want to go ahead, uh, go ahead, hit the orb, and it'll tell us. It says left one, right three. Okay, so left one, right three, and there you go. So that's the only real door that has a combination to its uh, little switch. Not that hard in all honesty, especially when they give you the hint right next to the switch. I and mean, that made it a little too easy. But right here we actually ah, we actually have to move this. Because well where the staircase was originally, no hole, but here there's a hole so we can kinda get through it. 
Oh, and also before I mentioned, this is probably the longest version of Hot Shelter with Amy. It's actually her longest level, too. I think this level will take us about five minutes or so. It's pretty long. Also, monkey in a toilet. Okay, I wasn't expecting to land on that. But you can open it up with your hammer and you can find some goodies in here, like some uh, rings and such. But really, not really something I like to do. So let's get out of here, shall we? Oh, jeez. Buddy. Kind of jumping right in front of me there. Not appreciating that. Get out of my way. Alright, long falling section. You want to hit that door if you can, and I missed it. If you hit that way, you get some goodies, and plus you don't really have to do this segment all that much because you actually come out from a higher platform. Let me see if I can see it from here. Yeah, you see where that platform is there, you'll come out from there, and you get some uh, rain capsules. So hit that switch, get this gear going in the right direction for us, and start climbing. Now, Hot Shelter with Big, well, Big's levels in general aren't that enjoyable. We'll get to that after this story, but that level, you don't get to explore much at all. And then, with uh, Gamma when you go here, you get to explore a good amount of it, but I feel like you get to explore a little bit more with Amy. It just feels a little more just explorable with her for some reason. I'm not really sure why it does, but it just feels like it to me, at least. So we want to hit this button here, and now reverse these, but you can actually hit them again if you're not careful, so... Yeah, you want to be really careful with that, and I'm not sure, you might be able to, uh, climb up here without using the switch to reverse the gears. I'm not sure if you can or not, because I haven't really tried it. Probably if you get your, uh, jumps timed well, then you probably can. And all this segment's horrible right here. They tell you be careful not to fall off. Turn on your free camera. Because that is the only way you'll be able to do this proper. Auto camera for that section is horrible. It seriously can kill you so easily. Basically, when you do that with auto camera, it tries to focus out. And while doing that, it not only tries to focus the camera out, but it will also move you in the process. So you'll be moving in a direction you don't want to go and you'll just fall right to a pit. And that's why I turn that to free camera whenever I can. Because seriously, free camera for that segment just makes it actually possible. <laughs> Auto camera for that, not so much. Oh, almost missed the check. What the? Okay, I walked through the checkpoint and nothing happened. Great hit detection. And speaking of hits, stupid monkeys. So let's see what this is say. Monitor room. Four blocks must be placed to use the monitor. Okay. Also, this guy's getting on my nerves. Stupid coconuts. And you're not throwing coconuts, too, so your rolls are reversed. So, we need to take these four blocks and place them into their uh, respectful colors. So, red with red, blue with blue, purple with purple, and yellow with yellow. Pretty simple. So, let's see what feature film they have on the big screen for us. Oh, robot. I heard this movie. I heard it's very realistic. Man, that's more than just 3D. That's like a real pop-out image right there. Okay, that's a stupid joke now. And right here, you can see how fast Amy moves on the stairs. They give you a lift there, but... Here, you can climb up for uh, some coins. Oh, coin. oh, great, I'm picking up my uh, friend Jared's little trick. He keeps on calling these ring, uh, these rings coins for some odd reason, man. They're rings, they're not coins, and I'm picking that up from him. I've been editing up the uh, Sonic Adventure 2 race, so I've been hearing him call those rings coins a lot more lately. And, uh, yeah, now, apparently now, because of editing all that footage up, I'm starting to say those are coins now, too. Fantastic. Alright, but, uh, we got another one of these block puzzles, and unfortunately... We also have the robot here to deal with, so... You can throw these if you want like that, but really... There's no purpose to throw them. In fact, I didn't know you can throw them until right now. Stupid thing trying to punch me. I'll whack you with my hammer. How do you feel about that? But, uh, yeah, you can throw those if you want, apparently, but... I don't really see a purpose of throwing those, because simply... When you throw them... You push him away from you, and I don't know why you would want to do that. 
And it doesn't look like those blocks even hurt the guy, so once again, just feels pointless. Did I get them all? No, I'm missing the yellow. Where is the yellow? Should be here somewhere. Might be on the top segment again. I'm gonna go check. It's been a while since I've done this level with Amy, so I'm kind of drawing a, a blank to the last uh, block, but it's not... Oh, wait, there it is. How did I miss that? I'm gonna blame depth perception. But, uh... I haven't done this level with Amy in a long time, and it's mainly this segment here that just takes a long time, because you gotta go out of your way for all of those blocks and just solve the puzzle real quick. And that's a lot of points right there. But, uh, that's really the longest part of it. And after you do that long part, you finish the level, so it's pretty simple after uh, you get past it. At this rate, it looks like we're going to be doing one level per episode. this place best time if any to go back into the past right as when we're escaping fantastic so let's see what the call wants well, apparently she's not here let me go the other way if you don't see the call sitting in front of that big old pyramid then you want to head over here and go to the air area. Now this is the one thing I don't understand. If they throw you in here and you need to be over here for the cutscene to play, why put you in the main plaza area? Why not back here to where the Massa Emerald Shrine is? I don't know. I think that's just bad design right there. That should have just put you right here, but uh, well, like two seconds lost. Not that big of a deal, I guess. Be afraid, you're safe with me. was that? I wonder if I'm dreaming. Oh my! I need to get out of this place! It's weird how he went from a hot shelter to a pool. That not make that much sense to me, but okay. I'm assuming the hot shelter kind of leads to here from this little gateway. It doesn't really make that much sense why that's there besides that, but uh... Well, let's try to get out of here. I mean, we've been here long enough. Where do you think you're going, Amy? Eggman, no! You can't get away this easily. Buddy! Annoying pets. Give them all you got. 
Aye, aye, sir. We'll comply. I've got better things to do! Guess I'll let him go then. The A carrier's losing altitude. We're fresh out of time. Take Amy and clear out. Back. What about you? I'll nail that Eggman. Can't let him escape. Okay, three things before we end off the episode. One, Gamma gyrating like that behind Amy looks really odd and wrong, but it's hilarious. Two, let's flash up a picture of this, actually. How does Amy's skirt do this? How does it just cup up all of a sudden when she's flying with tails? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know the physics in this game can be a little weird because of the Dreamcast 
game, especially a launch game for the system, but my gosh, what the heck was with that physics? And then the third thing, who took this picture? Who took the picture of those three birds and made it into a pendant and put it on this bird? Because I know those birds didn't do it. They, they can't. They physically cannot. So, these all weird things really makes it think. But I guess I'm really looking too far into this. They're just minor little things, so... Not really something to worry about, I would say. But uh, now with that all rambling out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. So, next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure... We'll hopefully find this bird's family and finish up Amy's story. So with that, I'll see you guys next time.